Welcome to the gear room. It has been a long time since we made a gear room video and today we're just going to do a very quick gear room video. So there you see the Epiphone, I mean yeah, the Epiphone 339 uh, which is standard, which is stock except it's got a pair of noiseless Kenman P90s on it. It's got um, aftermarket upscale tuners um, and I, yeah, and then um, the electronics are a little different. Okay, so there's that. My other two strats, I've been in the shop for months now, uh, just because my guitar, my aunt, my guitar tech is really backed up. But let's take a look. So here we have the Mesa Boogie Mark 525 being played through a through an open back Mesa cabinet with a G65 cream back. Or is that yeah? Anyway, that's a great. What I love about the Mesa Boogie Mark 525 is that um, it just has that great Mesa Boogie lead tone, which I really, really have always loved. And so, you know, you can show up with no pedals, nothing. It weighs like 16 pounds. That cabinet is really light. And so you can just show up and plug straight into that and have a really great Mesa, you know, lead tones. It also does nice cleans and, um, you know, it's got a lot of options. That THD hot plate is actually connected to the Bluto Tone DK30. So the Bluto Tone DK30, um, built by Brandon Montgomery, right out of Denver. That's the Davy Knowles signature model, and man, I just, that is my amp. It's loaded with a um, Celestian Alnico Ruby. It's 30 watts. It is a Bluto tone. It is absolutely phenomenal. We could talk more about that some other day. Then here, I got this used on Reverb. I got a really good deal on it. It's a Little Dog Deluxe, which is a 5e3 Fender, you know, late 1950s um, Tweed Deluxe circuit. And that has the um, Weber Alnico speaker that sort of most faithfully reproduces, I guess, the original Jensen Alnico. And it's got a complete um, array of new old stock tubes. And when I got it, it wasn't working, so I sent it to Jim Nicholson, the builder, and he repaired it for free and shipped it for free, too, actually. Um, and he told me the tubes that were in there just sounded glorious and phenomenal, just amazing. And finally, so these are the amps I love. These are the amps I, I love and that I use. But finally, there's the Sir Badger, which has been one of my favorite amps since I first got it. And you know, it's basically kind of like a vintage Marshall. It just happens to be getting played through um, a Mesa teal closed back ported cabinet with a Weber ceramic blue dog, which Weber um, made specifically for that head in that in the cabinet. I, you know, I know Marshalls, as far as I understand, they, they come in, you know, they, they were meant to be played through closed back cabinets. Um, but for me, that open back, that open back Mesa cabinet with the uh, Celestian cream back just sounds amazing. I thought about getting another cabinet for that, sir, like an open back cabinet, and maybe putting an Alnico Gold in it, just because. Um, but anyway, it sounds amazing. So, real quick, before we say goodbye, I'll just quickly show you my current pedal board. I know that looks a little bit messy right now. I'm sorry about that. It, um, I wish it didn't. I was actually thinking about having um, somebody make a pedal board for me with a with a switcher on it but probably not so what's going on here you see the g50 wireless relay i go into that wirelessly from there it goes into the to the alice to jerry cantrell wawa i actually got um the clyde mccoy vintage wawa and i have to be honest i i prefer the jerry cantrell that goes into the full tone deja vibe which is, you know, a Univibe clone. And of course, um, you know, Mike Fuller, as always, says it's the most 
accurate um, Deja Vi, I mean, uh, Univi pedal. I don't know, but it sounds good to me. It's got a nice throb. That goes into the um, Octron, the Fox Rocks Octron, which is great, which goes, in, goes into the Klon KTR. And this musket, I got that directly from the guys, they're two brothers at Blackout Effectors in North Carolina. I went and visited them and they, they just gave me a great deal on that. I love that fuzz pedal. Into the King of Tone. The King of Tone goes into the Thorpey Camouflage, which I just love, like Electric Mistress. That's going into the Mini Vent, Leslie into the chase tone secret which is the preamp for the ep3 that goes into the front end of the amp which i've got set where is it which i've actually got set pretty pretty clean with the gain and the drive you can see the settings there master's really low and it's getting played through the the hot plate presence is pretty high um and then into the effects loop of that same amp is the Echo Plex, what is that, the EP1, and then the, Flint, the Strymon Flint. And I was using the Bell Epoch Deluxe as my delay, which is a great delay. And you know, it is like an EP3, I, but I currently I like that little Echo Plex. So that's pretty much it, and welcome to the gear room. Thanks for stopping by, have a great day.